Okay, we're going to install the grip delight on the deck of a kneeboard. This is the full top grip. It goes on just like a short board or a long board. First thing you want to do is get it centered on your board, even distance from each rail and as close to the pad as you like. You can see this little distance here is the same on the other side over there. Once you like where it is, there is actually a black little line on the grip, an ink line here. And it's just to help you with alignment. It's not exactly in the center. When it cuts on our machines, sometimes it's centered, sometimes it isn't. But that's okay, it's always straight. So the first thing you want to do, once you get it evenly set, like this one is, it's rolled out, ready to go on. Get some tape and tape it down in three positions on the far rail. There it is, taped down in a few positions on the far rail. It's half on the, the grip and half on the board. You want to hold it there in that position because the next thing we're going to do is put down the center tear out strip. And what you do is you roll this over, get that little tear out strip, pull out about that much and then put this back and press this down. Now you've got it started right where you wanted it. Reach underneath. Follow it all the way down. Notice that we put a sticker on first. Put your stickers where you want to before you put down your grip to light. There it is. That was easy. That took about a minute. That black line that's on there is going to come off on your finger. See? So you want to wash your hands after you do that to get this ink off because the next step, this ink could transfer onto the adhesive. Okay, the next step, we're going to fill our bottle up with water. Add one drop of dish soap. Put the cap on and stir it. Remember to wash your hands clean. So I've just washed my hands. I'm going to put the one drop of dish soap in. There it is. One drop. Put the cap on. And stir it up. Cool. Now what we do is we're going to spray the board. Flip this over and just get the whole thing wet. Go in vertical lines like this or horizontal lines. So you get a nice even spray pattern on there along the rail. And where it's going to end up right here along the pad. That should be pretty good. Check it out. You can see in the reflection, it's got a lot of water on there. Do this indoors. Don't do this outdoors. You're going to have dust flying around and interruptions. So you want to do this indoors. Okay, see how I peeled this off? This is the release liner that comes off really easy. We're going to get the adhesive wet now. Peel it off at an angle. There you go.
Okay, now get your hands wet. Because you're going to handle this. And if your hands are wet, the adhesive won't stick to you. Okay, ready to go. We are going to laminate this onto your board now. Get your spreader or squeegee. Came in the kit. There's videos. You can watch this many times. But really, it's only been a couple of minutes that we've been doing this. So we're just going to lay it down at an angle, starting at the nose. And slowly overlap the squeegee, just like that. It's really easy to do. If something gets in there, like I can see like a little piece of fuzz, you can pull it back up. That's why it's wet and try to get it out. Maybe it's on the top. No, it's right here. There it is. Got it. Lay back down. That's what's nice about working with wet fingers and the soap on here. Nothing sticks to itself. Overlapping. That's it, that's one side. That's how fast this goes on. Goes on nice and clean. Pretty cool, huh? Now don't worry about that black ink mark that goes down the center. That's water soluble ink and it comes off with water. There's some trapped water sometimes in this little area and you can just push it right out here or the other side. And I'll show you how to get rid of bubbles and air on the last step. It's really easy. You just prick it with a pin and it comes right out. And then check it out. See if you have any areas that you want to... There's like some trapped air right here and some trapped air right here. And that'll come right out. Sometimes you can just squeegee it out. There it goes. Gone. Here's another one. Gone. Cool. Now we'll do the other side. Okay, now we're going to do the other side. Remove that tape. Flip it over just like the first time. Get everything wet again, but first get your hands wet because you're going to start playing with it. And now we're going to get the peel off, get it going at an angle, and get it wet. Cool. Just a couple more sprays on there, make sure everything's wet along the line. 
And this one even goes faster. Start it, I like to start up here sometimes and the nose is easier to start with. Just lay it over a little bit. Overlapping strokes. You're not, I'm not pressing hard, I'm pressing kind of just soft and medium. And then go over one more time or however many times you want to go over it. Work all the edges towards the edge. And then check it out if you have the ability to check it out with a reflection to see if you have any areas you want to clean up. But this one came out really good as normal. And that's it. All you have to do now is get the rest of that little ink mark that's on the center off. It's water ink. So it's going to come right off. All right, that's it. Let it rest for 24 hours before you surf. Don't put it in the sun to dry. Just leave it indoors to dry and you can surf it the next day. Now, if there are any bubbles or air, you can take them out now with a needle or a pin. You just prick them and push the uh, water out so it'd be like grabbing a pin there's a bubble right here you prick it push the water out and then hold this down over for 20 seconds and the glue will adhere to the board again the glue is waterproof so you're not hurting it by doing that and you're good to go you may see something come up in a day or two because you missed it that's okay you can still prick it again with the pin and remove the air or the water whatever it is and go on surfing cool okay here is a bubble or trapped water it happens usually every other time it doesn't even matter because this is so simple to fix you're not going to believe this you get a sewing needle not a tack or a nail but a sewing needle or a pin and you prick it and you pull it out and the, the water comes right out by itself. That's it. It's that easy. Press down on it, make sure it's all out, feel that it's flush, and then get your spreader and hold down for 20 seconds while it's trying to back, bond back down to the board just like everything else just did. That's all you have to do. It's no big deal. It doesn't hurt the material, doesn't hurt the glue at all. And you can see that even I did it. Um, it's just kind of a nature of the material because the material is flexible and it stretches a little bit while you're putting it on. And it has to be because your board has so many complex curves on it. If it was a stiff material, you'd have wrinkles everywhere. That's it. Look at that, gone. Cool.